Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I will show you how to make your podcast sound better using my free podcast production presets. So here we are in Adobe Audition and I've loaded in my free podcast presets. They consist of two tracks and they're just a very light version of what you'll find in my pro podcast presets, which include tracks for music, sound effects, intros and outros, and also fixing tracks for common problems uh, like room noise, fan, echo, and things like that. But this is just the basics. It's just a free set of presets uh, to get your podcast sounding good. And the best use case for these presets are when you're recording one single host into one microphone and you just want to make it sound a little bit better. I'll show you how. There's a podcast regular track and a podcast heavy. Regular is normal standard processing to enhance the sound of a podcast. And heavy, well, it's in the name. It makes it sound really heavy and processed. Hopefully not too processed, though. It's a podcast, remember. Uh, so let's get started with uh, podcast example number one. And I'm going to drag this straight into my preset. But first of all, I'll double click and play you the original. The first thing you can probably see here from spectral frequency, there's quite a lot of background noise. Uh, there it is. Whoa, very uh, noisy noise floor there. Lots on the levels meter. Uh, we'll actually raise that noise up and listen. Whoa, tons going on there. And of course, our speaker is here. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? Hi, Jim. I'm great. And there's another problem. Hi, Jim. I'm great. Hi, Let's turn that up. That is mic bleed. Hi, Jim. I'm great. That is our guest who's sitting across the room from our podcast host, uh, bleeding through on the microphone. So background noise, guest bleed through, and just general enhancement of the voice would be nice, wouldn't it? So now we're in the multi-track. Let's look at what it does to background noise. No background noise there. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. And then we'll play some of the audio. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? Okay, so that's our audio processed. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? That's unprocessed. Again, not that much of a difference, but we don't really want to crush this voice. We just want to make it sound slightly better with some EQ, compression, and other effects to remove the background noise. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? Now, do you think it's going to get rid of our guest bleed through? Let's have a listen. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? Good. Thank you for coming on. There we go. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, so that's podcast regular. Again, I can show you with another podcast episode how these free podcast presets work. Uh, here's um, a podcast, a little clip from a podcast, and there's lots of variation here in the uh, the sound, in the volume level, so it gets really loud here and a bit quieter here. Let's listen in the regular processing. So um, before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business... And let's look at how it looked and sounded before processing. So um, before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business. How so as you can hear, slightly different. When I mix this clip down, let's do so, multi-track mix down entire session, you will see that the uh, process version, let's switch off spectral frequency, looks a lot more uniform in terms of the waveform and the levels being correct compared to our original that looked like that. So we got this and we got this. And actually, I will make this mono so that you can definitely see the difference uh, without it going into a stereo waveform. So now we have, that's after, this is before. Before and after going through the free podcast presets. And of course, we've got the heavy track when you really want to bump it up a little bit more. So um, before we get into the nuts and bolts of the business... That's quite heavy, isn't it? And again, let's bring in podcast number one and have a listen. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? So that's heavy processing. Well, hello, Linda. How are you today? That's regular processing. Beware, heavy processing, if you've got background noise going on or if you've got a room with lots of echo, it might bring that up and kind of enhance the echo. So not the sound you're going for. So most use cases for the free podcast presets will be popping your audio track or your recording or your single host speaking into a microphone into the podcast regular track. Simple and easy as that. And you can even use these presets to record your podcast as well. You don't just need to drag it in for post-processing. You can actually arm a track to record. And in order to do that, if you see the R button grayed out, you just need to drop down here and look for your audio device. In my case, I'm using a Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixer. And I've got my mic plugged into analog input one. Click it. Now record becomes available. Click that. You'll get my levels coming in there. And then I can just scrub back to the start. Hit the record button. Hello, this is Mike Russell with a podcast recorded in the free podcast presets. Hit stop. And there we are. Let's take recording off. Hello. 
It's a little bit quiet there, so again, we can double click to get to the waveform view, select all, go into favorites, normalize to minus 0.1 dB. I recommend you do this with any podcast recording, and then the presets will work at their best. Back over here. Hello, this is Mike Russell with a podcast recorded in the free podcast presets. And you can see it really is as easy as that to use these free podcast presets to make your podcast sound a lot better. 